And then, um, so I just talked about in the last video, uh, 130, 69 equals 139, but then 913, like uh, 139 or September 13th, adds the 69. 13, 9 adds the 69, so interesting. But uh, anyway, I, I went back and I rewatched this part one before I was going to make this one. And I noticed a, a few kind of patterns, so I'm just going to point them out really quick. Okay, so on this this plane wreck here, um, let's see here, it shows that it started in Miami, then Melbourne, then Tampa, then Louis Armstrong, then Mobile, and then uh, Pensacola. And it also says, well, I guess here, Jack Sock. It says he resides in Tampa, Florida. So then, and then he got, he collapsed in Louis Armstrong Stadium in New York. So we got Tampa and Louis Armstrong. I don't know about these two. I don't, I haven't put that together yet other than the, uh, the gay ESPN analyst. Um, but he was from Florida and like all of this stuff is in Florida, except for until you get to here. And then the next one is Mobile, Alabama. Or Mobile, however you say it. And uh, so Mobile, Alabama, it's on 88 degrees west even. So um, I'll come back to that in a second. But it even says it's the 102nd, 22nd ranked population in the United States very interesting 122 122nd day is 5-2 um, tons of 52 this year even the mayor Sandy Stimson uh, was born on 4-4 all that encoding April 4th if you added that write it out as a like April 4th it adds to 144 also 44 adds to 144 um, I mentioned that in the previous video 8-9, there's 144 days left. It's the 221st day. 2-21 is the 52nd day. Queen Elizabeth is 89 years old this year. Tons and tons of connections to it. But uh, he, this guy was born in, on April 4th of 1952. But uh, what I'm starting to wonder is, um, so this is on 88 degrees west, and whatever it's the third stopover of this plane wreck and I just said you know the Tampa connection with the kit the guy Jack sock collapsing at Louis Armstrong Stadium and then the next one's Mobile Alabama and uh, in the previous part one I showed that they flashed the 88 on the news story and I'm just gonna play the clip again one more time to show you the, the 88 See the 88 there? There's the 88. Also, um, you notice it was in section 12 here. And it shows this uh, plane wreck. It says it was sinking in 12 feet of water. And that drone crashed in section 12 even. So not saying that anything's going to happen. find that kind of strange though. Um, that like all of these towns would be in there except for Melbourne which I'm not quite sure I see MLB could be something to do with baseball um, I don't really know just thought I'd point it out um, this technically I don't know it could be a, a hot spot to watch so uh, also over here doesn't have to mean much but I do see a 329 as well 329 and then an 8 um, but I want to talk about the number 193 a little bit. I tried to figure out what it meant. Just do my same old methods. Um, if you break it down as a date, it could be 19-3, which would be March 19th. March 19th is the 78th day of the year. So, I mean, this plane crash even happened in 78. Also, um, the day with 193 days left until the end of the year is June 21st um, so it's mere day is the 172nd day I'll get to that in a second but June 21st is significant because 
that is the day that Prince William was born. And I've talked about him, how I think that, I think, I, my opinion is I think the Queen is going to die, and then um, Charles is going to be the king for a short amount of time, and then he's going to become the king. Um, but who knows? It just, I just, could, I thought of some theories and whatnot, and I think I made a video, I'm not for sure though. Anyway, just wanted to point that out, that that was uh, the day that he was born, but I took this day to 9-3, the day that the, the tennis thing happened. It's a span of 74 days, and that's an interesting number with uh, Queen Elizabeth. She became the queen 74 days before her birthday. 74 days after her birthday is July 4th, 7-4. 74 days is also 1,776 hours, kind of like the birth of the United States. Her husband um, is also, he, he just turned 94, so he was 93 earlier in this year, but um, he's 1,776 days older than her even. I mean, what are the odds of that? Tell me that's not planned. No way. So then I took July 12th, and that is the 193rd day of the year, and I went to the day. It's 53 days, so or one month, 22 days. Talked about both of these numbers. 53 I talked about a long time ago. It actually deals with Herbie, because Herbie was 53, the number 53 or whatever. And uh, also, see here, the Dean Jones guy, the, the guy in Herbie just died even from Alabama, but uh, he died at the age of 84. And another 84 was the Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong was born exactly 60 years before Obama on 84. Even died at the age of 69, which I talked about goes with the uh, uh, thir September 13th or whatever. Also, 193 is a prime number, and look what prime number it is. The 44th prime number. So we had all the 4-4 the four, four symbolism. Obama's the 44th president, even. And who knows? You know, I don't, it's foreshadowing something with Obama. I don't know if they're going to assassinate him or if there's something bigger, better. I mean, who knows? Just really weird. They, they put a lot of 44 to 84 around him. Um, I think in the last video I said that 149 is the, or I said 197 was the, the 35th prime, it's actually the 45th prime, so uh, I'll leave a little note and change that, I knew, I don't know why, 149, yeah, oh, 149 is the 35th prime, and that deals with Obama, because Obama's birthday, 8-4, there's 149 days left until the end of the year, um, 197 is the, uh, 45, which is the reverse of love. It's evil. Also, Valentine's Day, the 45th day of the year. It's the middle day of Lupercalia. Oh, also, uh, what is it? Louis Armstrong. I didn't even realize that he died uh, in Queens, New York, or whatever. Corona, Queens. So, talk about the Queen like crazy. Um, and for whatever reason, the only song I seriously know by... Louis Armstrong that I can think of is the one like I see skies of blue or whatever you know the wonderful world um but uh yeah this song look at it August 16th which is 16-8 168 Queen Elizabeth II adds up to 168 or uh Taylor Swift adds a 168 Beyonce Knowles 168 uh uh Whatever Kanye West song, the freaking Freddie uh, Mercury song, the the Queen song, and yeah, I talked about all the 139s before that. It's just the, the length is even 221. <laughs> Eight nine is the 221st day. I mean, just what are the odds? You just look at a random song and it has all these numbers connected to it. Even a uh, 67. That is a uh, entire Revelation adds up to 67. But he didn't actually write this song. It was these two guys. So I clicked on them. This guy died at 73. Haven't really talked about it that much lately, but it's the mirror of 37. Um, it deals with the 12 and the 21 and all kinds of stuff. But uh, also Sheep's Head Bay, Brooklyn is where he was born. So I thought that was kind of weird. Also born in 1922. 
born on July 27th, 727, like the Boeing 727. Uh, I believe this was a Boeing 7, 727. So, interesting. The other guy was George David Weiss, uh, born on 4-9 of 1921, uh, even died at the age of 89. I mean, just ridiculous. The odds of that are crazy to me. Um, I, I also, who knows, I went back and I read a couple more articles. I, when I seen the 727, I swore there was something to do with a, a 27 in one of these articles. Maybe it was the CNN one. As I'm scrolling down here, it says that the temperature was 92 degrees on this one, but on CNN it said 90 degrees, so weird. But um, it also says he had a heat stroke, so obviously that's why he collapsed, he had a heat stroke. Heat stroke in Gematria, 122. I mean, how many times can that number come up? But uh, yeah, just going to leave it at that. Um, like I said, just kind of... This is just how I research, so um, thought there's a few significant things. I figured I'd post a couple videos of it. So uh, anyway, have a great night.